Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus for April 2019. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link as well. Enjoy the video. Namaste. We start this reading with justice. You have had some kind of very serious personal truth about walking away from something in pursuit of a new beginning and a new journey with the Fool card. Justice comes in again and says that you have some kind of absolute mental clarity that is going to about um, the manifestation of a new opportunity, whether financial or otherwise, the manifestation of a prosperous new opportunity that is going to lead you to the three of cups, which is celebration in your home, in your life, in your community, right? The eight of swords says that this truth, this justice that you came to the conclusion of um, had you tied up in your head for a very, very, very long time, thinking and overthinking and thinking again, because you are going to need a great amount of strength as you will be leaving somebody behind. You will be leaving somebody out in the cold in pursuit of the metaphorical knight in shining armor being the Prince of Cups. Whether this is a real knight in shining armor or an answer to prayer, you will be leaving somebody out in the cold to follow your dream. Eight of Swords comes in again over here. And this time this Eight of Swords is about it's about being open to new perspectives and releasing this Eight of Swords up here, right? Releasing it. Coming into an energy of emotional balance and control, right? Emotional balance and control in pursuit of another King of Cups, in pursuit of um, emotional fulfillment, the Eight of Pentacles comes in and says that you are going to move forward and you are going to engage, work on something, gain mastery of something. This is going to allow you to plan for your future, slow, steady, and stable planning for your future. The Two of Swords comes in and says that you have called a truce to this Eight of Swords right here, as witnessed by this Eight of Swords right here, right? This Eight of Swords, remember, is being wrapped up in your head really hard because you have to leave somebody behind in pursuit of your dreams. This Eight of Swords is, is releasing that. This Eight of Swords is about being open to new perspectives and releasing this Eight of Swords. This Two of Swords says that you're calling a truce to the situation and you are manifesting a brand new opportunity in your life. Yes, it could be financial opportunity. It could be any kind of opportunity. It could be all kinds of opportunity. Ace of Swords says that you have absolute power, victory, breakthroughs, and mental clarity about the direction your life is going to take. The Prince of Wands comes in and tells me that you have energy, passion, and a renewed lust for life. You are ready to take action and have some adventure. The Princess of Cups is a messenger of a creative new beginning in your life by which you are going to take very swift forward movement action speed towards potentially traveling. The Four of Pentacles says that this messenger of a creative new beginning by which you are going to very quickly move, for, move towards is going to bring you a sense of control, stability, and security in your life. The Four of Wands comes in and says it, it's going to be a stable foundation by which to build your future. This is also a card about transition. This transition is going to bring you into the energy of the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is about public recognition, victory, progress, and self-confidence. Crossed by the Two of Wands, being able to plan for your future, to make progress in the decisions that you need to alleviate your fear of the unknown that was up here. The Four of Swords says that this whole decision right here is not without some very serious contemplation. And at this point in the reading, you feel some peace in your soul about how you're going to move forward. 
The Princess of Swords comes in and says that you are formulating a thought pattern. You are formulating a plan and getting ready to execute this decision that you made right here. The Six of Cups indicates that this walking away and this Eight of Swords right here is directly related to something that is very familiar to you. Could be leaving home, could be moving to a new city, could be, um, it could be anything, right? It, it could be anything. It could even be reconciliation and reunion if this is what's going on in your life, right? The Nine of Wands comes in and says that you have the courage to make the decisions and the choices that you need to make. The Seven of Swords is about breaking free, taking action with the Knight of Swords, ending something that needed to be end, that needed that needs to be ended, ending a commitment in your life that has you very much caught up in your head with the Nine of Swords and, and a lot of anxiety and, and despair. In regards to the teamwork and collaboration in your life, commitment, ending, commitment, anxiety, teamwork, and collaboration. The Three of Swords comes in and says there's going to be some painful separation. Page of Swords, again, twice, says that you are um, formulating a plan, a thought pattern. You're formulating some kind of action that you're going to take to achieve balance and stability in your life. You have evaluated, reevaluated, and thought about what it is that you want to invest your life into. Three of Wands comes in and says you are preparing. You are preparing to expand your world. King of Swords says that you are about to make a serious decision in regards to creating abundance in your life. Chariot tells us that you are going to make forward movement, that you have the willpower, the determination, and the control to take any action necessary to achieve your success. The hangman says that you have paused, contemplated, surrendered, and come out on the other side with brand new perspectives. Hence, this Eight of Swords right here being about open to change, new perspectives, and releasing. This is going to result in victory, success, self-confidence. You have manifested this into your life. It is going to bring you security and control. The burden is over. This decision creates a tower moment for you. Sudden change in your life. It creates the Ace of Wands, an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life despite the regretful but necessary transition into success with the Queen of Wands, despite the conflict, despite the challenge, you are now manifesting authority, establishment, structure, and control in your life with hope, faith, purpose, and renewal being the ultimate outcome. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.